Okay, hello, I'm Chris and uh, welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm working for QuantLab, a high frequency trading company where we've been applying concept for a while. And this talk is about learnings and applications we've been discovering while doing so. So, who likes concepts? <laughs> Basically everyone, just for the recording. Concepts are awesome, but you cannot pass them. So, if you, ha if you have a struct foo and a struct bar and you would like to pass them, uh, you, if you, you would like to have a concept which satisfies uh, some of the requirements for them, that's not easy because concepts are not passed. But you can pass a lambda which actually has the concept inside, so you can do that. So if you want to do a static assert, you can pass a lambda and return a requires clause with the requirement and that will be okay. So that's kind of important for this talk because we'll uh, base on that. Another thing which we don't have uh, by default is explicit concepts. Uh, who thinks that being explicit is better than not being explicit? Everyone. Uh, now, at least some people say that. So, in my opinion, you know, auto is often considered to be uh, a weakest concept because it satisfies everything. But it's not really a concept, it's a template. So what if we actually introduce something like that, when we have a concept which satisfies everything or anything in that regard? In that case, we have anything on int, that's true, anything on void, that's true, cons, short, it doesn't really matter, it's always true. So it's kind of like voidity for a concept space. And we'll build on that too. So that's something which I think is useful. Something which we are missing with the concept uh, as it stands is that we cannot negate them. It's sometimes the case that, especially when you try to apply concepts and you don't have them you know, very well established yet, you would like to say, I, everything just not the integral you know, uh, concept or not movable types. But you cannot do that out of the box. So in that case, when you have a, a struct bar, uh, that's okay, but 42 is not okay because it's not an integral part. So we can implement that with a bit of magic, which I will share. It's more a library code, but it's maybe interesting to see. So if you put a concept uh, negation, we can pass the lambda uh, to it as an auto in C++20. And that's where the con concept lives inside. We can say not, and here we call the lambda with the operator. Then we have a bit of macro in order to pass the lambda. And then we have all these characters in order to get these variadic arcs at the end. Because in order to, we, we, all of that hassle is just in order to be able to apply std integral without the type at the end. Because that's what we can do with the return type for concepts. So, okay, we can do that. What about function parameters concepts? When we have a function and we have different types uh, which are um, propagated to it. Sometimes you would like to, instead of saying the foo has to be uh, passed with an int, a short, and something, uh, I would prefer to write, I would like a foo to be, you know, constrained by something which is integral. The second parameter has to be same as short. And the third one is anything, which is an auto here. And this has to return a void. So, that would be nice to have, but we cannot do that out of the box, but we can implement that if we really want. So in that case, the foo for bar will be not satisfied and only the foo of two will be satisfied in that case. So notice here that the auto here is also satisfied, auto that, that, that also can happen. So in order to implement that, we do struct requires operator T, blah, 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 a lot of magic here. The idea is that the implicit conversion operator will try to satisfy the concept for us. And then we have, again, the macro, where we pass the concept into the lambda first parameter, which will be the satisfaction of the concept. The last thing which I would like to cover is the fact that there was a proposal for the time, uh, back in the day about the virtual concept. So we would like to have the concept which uh, can be type erased with the signature requirement, and then we can write the virtual foo in that case, which will uh, 
will we be able to store instead of not being able to do so as we have at the moment with the concepts. And we can then iterate through that. So let's constrain all our requirements. So that's bad. That's better. That's also good. Not C++ though. <laughs> that, that's OK. What about that? Uh, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank you.